Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my farming life. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my farming life. Hope you're doing very well. You join us here this afternoon when, well, I am just here quickly to have a look at what's going on because I like to come up here uh, with Bungle. Uh, just have a look in and see, but we today are going to be selling off some of our Aberdeen Angus beef. Uh, these boys are looking re really, really good. Uh, they're getting quite big, uh, they are as well. So, we're going to be selling some off. There is a phenomenal beef trade right now. Uh, we sold about half a dozen last week, and we got just over a thousand pounds ahead, which is phenomenal. So, we're looking to do the same. Not bad for about nine months on the farm when we bought them in there for a little over a hundred pounds ahead. So, we're looking really good so now is the time to get rid of them uh cousin and bungle are just cracking on sort that which ones are going to take the best of the bunch that kind of stuff but yeah they're looking good we've got a lot to get rid of before and then we need to get these sheds cleaned out and then we can give them a bit of a rest before we start to get some more coming in uh so we've got this bunch over at this yard we've got the heifers over at south Healy, along with a few calves up there getting the calves out of there sooner rather than later uh, and then we got the the bunch down at um at moore farm as well uh, but yeah, idea being that we keep continually circulating these through. Uh, buy them in young there when we can. We're going to be increasing our numbers and then uh, finish them and get them out looking like this. If, if, that, if we can do that for the mortal, then we are looking very good indeed. But very, very pleased with how they're all going. So hopefully more of that to come. They're busy sorting through anyway. I'm going to let them do that and then they'll take them away to the mart. And we're in our tractor. We are working again, and the reason we had to come up here, well, we brought this tractor at one, it's a little bit faster, but two, the other Massey is not doing anything at the moment. It is, it's broken down. Uh, we have not one, but two different tractor issues, really, and from what it seems, like, there are two issues with the 3125, both of which should be repairable, I've been told, and shouldn't be too expensive to do so. Um, oh, look at this. Actually, for a crop there, that's not all looking too bad. Let's have a quick swing into here. Ooh, looking good. All of our wheat and barley is just starting to be on the turn there now. We are early June. Uh, that, this is spring drilled barley here. That's a bit behind than we'd expect it to be. But we are looking pretty good there. Uh, so uh, we're about a month, uh, six weeks away at the very least. But it's nice to see that everything is coming along. And uh, we've got no hay ready to go. We've got no second cut silage ready to go yet either. But we're just in the process of waiting. Uh, so we're doing a whole load of little jobs like this. Today I am going to tidy up the um, more farmyard a little bit. Because um, it needs to be done. But we need to go and get a trailer to do that. Because we're going to be carting some muck up to here. Uh, because we've got plenty of it down at more farm. And there's just too much of it. Uh, now with a slurry separator on there as well, it's uh, it's getting a lot. So we need to get on top of that again. Uh, so we're going to bring up one of the old grain trailers from up here. Uh, slurry's been spread up here as well. I think they've got a little bit more they want to do. But because the Bowser uh, would be on the 3125 usually, we can't get it done. Uh, so we're going to leave the 5S up here for a little bit so they can get on top of that again. Uh, but yeah, here is the beautiful 3125. And if I just stop right about here. Apparently it's working fine. No issues. And then left and parked up here one night on the Bowser. Actually, we managed to get that hooked off and drag it away. Um, but then left it and, well, won't start again. Won't do anything, uh, which is great. It is uh, two different issues that we apparently have. Uh, according to the, the fitter who's been out. And you'll be back again whenever you can to fix it. Uh, we've got an electrical fault and then also a engine management fault it seems apparently which is probably brought on from the electrical fault let's be honest but it's uh never straightforward with machines regardless of the age it would seem um so we will just have to creep on cracking on with that uh, i'm going to take the mast in here because it's probably going to be the easiest to get on he says somewhat confidently uh Okay. All right. So yeah, we'll we'll move this as well because we have still been using a little bit of the uh, silage up here. Since we cut our first cut silage, it hasn't been the warmest on some days. The sun's been out, but it's been cold. And uh, what that's meaning is that our grass growth is not as good as it could have been. Uh, so just a buffer feed, really. We're sticking a few bales of silage out for the cattle and hoping and praying. 
but that will be enough to keep them going um so we will well we'll just keep following along and see how that looks uh everything else will be bailing now will be hay or a uh, second cut silage uh, pits are looking good nice and full uh pit up here is also the same as well significantly better than last time uh so that is rather pleasing uh so we're already off to a good start uh, haven't really checked on the arable up here too much of late but uh, we have had everything sprayed off at the same time as we did down and around uh bellum actually to get that all done and dusted but that pit's looking much better uh but yeah looking forward to getting out with the combine now we've all just got to kind of sit and wait that's all we can do until everything's ready to go but yeah you see that hasn't really done much i think that's actually had more than one bit of slurry on there as well it's been about four weeks since we lifted grass so it's been a while definitely has been a while but anyway we're gonna head on back down towards more farm where we will look to start getting a bit of a tie up down there and to see what's uh, what's happening it is fantastic to be back in my tractor cutting along the roads again it really is so much more comfortable uh and we should be looking good for the next wee while with this as well i would hope uh that is going to be the expectation at least uh and then we're all looking good that field is looking all right as well it's, it's got a little bit of regrowth but like i say could be better could be better what is looking really good though is the linseed flowers at the moment they are fantastic really really good uh winter drills crops around here as you can see out the window well not all too bad not all too bad at all uh we've got to have a bit to run it though that's for sure uh like we're still a little way off there yet but we should be in the home stretch now until we come to desiccate anything uh but we should be pretty good um we just gotta wait really and hope that well light now is the warmer temperatures really just to bring on the the grain in the uh, uh in the seeds there so that should be perfect but ultimately really that's where we are uh okay so what we'll do is just zip on up like i say we're taking away some of our separate manure uh and get that going these slurry tanks on this farm have been emptied and it's been put into the lagoon what's left that we didn't go into the field uh and the expectation is now that hopefully we can uh just continue to get that separated in there but you'll see there's a lot of muck around the place to get shifted and carted away at some stage um but yeah it will happen now before we do that let's get a few things moved around here as you can see six bale, five bales of hay left here uh so we are in need of some good weather and some uh some hay making looking into possibly getting demo for doing that as well that would be rather cool if we could uh but we'll see still very much working on that one and it's a pipe dream as it stands at the moment but let's get this taken off in fact we'll just slip this around the corner that's what we're gonna be shifting today calves are looking good looking well uh, and there's the rest of our salvage bales all stacked up out of the way as well there. So that is all good. Uh, expect to get a few more into there. Hopefully. Ooh, and we'll just shut that gate. I don't know why that's left open. Sometimes these sheep are rather timid. Uh, there's one beeline already. There's a straw looks like they're going to fall over. But we've also got through quite a lot of straw as well there. We've still got a handful of bales left in the field. We will be making a fair bit of straw this year, I think. See how we get going with it all. It's not going to be... Uh, it's not going to be uh, all uh, kept. Uh, some of it will be sold off. And some of it will be uh, chopped and put back into the grass as well. But we'll, we'll see. Anyway, uh, let's just get this going here. So I really feel like right now we're in the, the zone with the calf shed here and the uh, the slurry separator. I think we're looking really good with everything. I'm just happy with how it's all working. Um, now, I wonder if this fork's going to actually work with this because it is quite loose stuff. doesn't like picking up too much. You know what? No. We're going to go for a, a bucket on this one. Oh, the bucket grab there at least. Because, yeah, it's just quite... It's it's very wet by nature there, and it's a bit sloppy. It doesn't really come through this anyway. So we'll get this all swapped around, and then we will get us off. And no matter what you do with this yard, there's always machines in the way at the minute, it seems. That feeder tractor is banging the way. Uh, but anyway. 
see if we can just creep our way around here and then leave this trailer on a bit of a skew all right then perfect let's get ourselves loaded up here if i can get over Whoa. there you go locked myself well and truly in there uh, and we'll load that one up so we'll, this will be a few loads that'll go over we're going to put it into the set aside field which is down by the river and then uh we'll leave it there for a little bit before we look to come and spread it uh before we drill uh so nice and straightforward clears a bit of space up down here and then like we've also got loads of regular uh muck as well that, that we'll need to do something with so i just need to figure out where we're going to put that i fancy it might continue to make its way down towards Bellum Manor Farm, but we will see uh, as and when the time comes, see what that looks like for us. So, yeah, lots to keep going with over here. Everything else is just waiting, really. Um, waiting for the good weather to come and allow us to get some, uh, some more silage cup. We will be continuing to take a, a, few, more, uh, a few more livestock away as well. Um, we've got a few... Sheep looking good. There's a few uh, ewes I want to get uh, shot off as well. I think Cousin's got nine. A few. Just from the age that they have, we need to get to, uh, get rid of them out of the fleet or out of the herd. Um, and then we will be continuing on the, the beef movement as well. That's going to be a real big driving force, especially for our uh, our enterprises. So we need to get that done and keep those uh, the cash flow coming. That way we can keep the cash flow coming on in and just make sure that we pay bills. And maybe we can invest in uh, more infrastructure, perhaps even more machinery down the way. Who knows? Okay, we just need to move ourselves away from here a little bit. Fuck that trailer a touch too close. There you go. And then we'll probably turn that slurry separator back on because it's getting full again. And it's uh, probably getting a bit of a crust on it, which is exactly what we don't want. But there's so much stuff in here over a while there. It really doesn't take long to fill it up either. We didn't have the storage space for it, which is something we haven't even had this for a full year. So what I might have to be careful of is what that looks like for us during the winter months and how often we put this on there and, and how much space it's gonna it's gonna actually take, you know, because well we could be in for a bit of a, a, a bit of a sticky situation. So we will have to see. Now I think that's probably gonna be a about good. Um but let's just swing this around here and we can take a look see what we're we looking like here oh good enough we'll take it so we don't make any mess uh quick jump over Ugh. all right so back on over to south Ely we go wash up and then we can see what that's looking like got a few loads cart the way today figure out where i'm going to send some of that muck there and just get this yard looking a little bit more tidy for itself as you can see uh straw's getting a bit lower there now we're back down to where we were pre-harvest uh, last year so uh that number will keep dwindling a little bit because we've still got a few cattle inside uh so we'll see how that looks however time for us to keep cracking on a lot of jobs that have been done around the yards and around the farms that aren't really field work at the moment just things that we need to do uh, so we will just keep ticking along. Hopefully the 3125 won't be too much to uh, repair. But that being said, I don't think it'll be much less than a thousand pounds minimum. So we'll have to see. Uh, but the fitter will come out and he will no doubt let us know when he's ready to. And um, we'll take it from there. Uh, but this has been the latest update. Like I say, not too much happening. But we will keep on keeping on anyway. And uh, um, yeah, just another day in life when we're waiting for grass to grow. So until next time, I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching as always. I have been Simulation for the Nation. This is the latest episode of My Farm in Life. If you have enjoyed it and you've yet to do so, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And we will see you all in the next one. But until next time, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. And we will see you all in the next one. Catch you later.